There are 98 residents of Opportunity, Montana, all involved in a lawsuit with Atlantic Richfield Company. These 98 residents all have one common goal. They want their properties cleaned up from the contaminants left by the smelting plant in Anaconda. MTN's Kenneth Webb shares their journey to justice. We didn't put it there and we shouldn't be responsible for removing it. The company put it there and they should be the ones that uh, have to take it out. The residents of Opportunity that are in this lawsuit are frustrated because their lands are contaminated with more than 250 parts per million of arsenic, which is well above the normal safe levels. Yeah, it's just obvious, you know, it's, if the levels are high, they're above what historic levels would be had that smelter not existed, um, then yeah, you know, it's their issue that it's polluted, they should need to clean it up. You know, it's been frustrating from the fact that you know, they've admitted themselves that it needs to be cleaned up, and yet they'll clean up all around me. They've got all the equipment right on location and still avoid doing my property. I'm very upset and frustrated. Um, I'm even afraid to mow the grass because there's dust, you know, and I don't know if I'm breathing that stuff in because showing it's contaminated. I don't like the kids to play out there in the yard. I'm afraid of them. I mean, we've had dogs get cancer from it. We think it's from it, they get it from something. If I'm littering, if I'm playing my music too loud and it's disruptive to my neighbors, I need to stop. I need to remedy it, I need to make sure it doesn't happen again. If my dog's biting somebody, it's on me. Well, their smelter's a big dog that's bitten an awful lot of people and it needs to be taken care of. The residents of Opportunity are only wanting their land restored to its original state before the smelting plant was even built. All we want is our yards clean, you know, and that's it. That's all I want, a, a nice yard that I can feel that, you know, is, is safe for the kids, safe for me, safe for the dog, safe for anybody that goes out there. I'd like to see it remediated to safe level so I don't have to worry what my kids are doing, what they're getting on them, what my pets are dragging into the house. Seems reasonable. If my neighbor throws a bag of garbage over the fence, he can damn, you can damn sure bet he's going to come over and pick it up. I'm not going to pick up, you know. And that's the same thing as, as that. You know, that's their garbage. Get it out. Get it out of my yard. I don't want it here. The residents and their attorneys are happy to finally get their day in court to go after ARCO. Um, for decades now, they've been the victims of corporate greed and corporate pollution dumping on their properties. And uh, we are trying to make uh, ARCO accountable and responsible for what they did. These folks that we represent have no political power really or economic power to do anything. They're simply there to ask uh, ARCO to do what's right and to return their land into the uh, state it was before this all happened. So if, if not for the courts, I don't know how we as landowners would be able to address the contamination issues uh, that ARCO has placed onto our properties. I'm glad we're finally going to get our day in court. I hope to see it happen. And it's, uh, it's time that we, uh, we air this out. Now the Montana Supreme Court has offered us the opportunity to go actually have a trial where we'll have 12 regular people and ARCO on the other side, and we'll have a fair playing field to have our dispute resolved. And all we've been asking for all these years is just come and clean up your mess. Unfortunately, ARCO and their attorneys declined to comment, and we will continue to update this story when we learn more information. Reporting from Opportunity, Kenneth Webb, MTN News. Thanks very much, Kenneth. The Beck Amsden Stops Law Firm is holding a public meeting in Anaconda on January 23rd for the people that live in Anaconda and in Opportunity. If you'd like to hear the residents' entire story, you can visit us online.